So, okay, this is um, teams that a teams meeting that you're hosting. What were the options when you set this up? Anything normal. different from the the normal teams experience? Honestly, I set it up on my PC and just logged in from the AVP. And so I had all the normal oh, teams gotcha. options, set everything up like per usual. And then just when it was time to meet, instead of opening up the laptop, I popped uh-huh. on the goggles. Well, what are you? I'm so I'm dying to hear your impression of personas. What do you think? How does this feel to you? It feels very uh, realistic. I mean, yeah, other than like the um, blurred out effect, like the extreme blur, (laughs) uh, um, the fact that it's capturing all your emotions and your facial expressions is meaningful. You could see my hands. Yeah. Somewhat. It's weird. I do talk a lot with my hands, but this is not, I don't think this is, that's the best idea in this venue. I will tell you, it feels more like you than mm-hmm. an avatar does. For but sure. I'm also, if your voice, like having your real voice, yeah. really for me kind of like dampens that uncanny valley. Uh-huh. But like, <clears throat> if I didn't have your voice, I would be like, Maybe not creeped out, but very like, not Jerry, super not Jerry. Because it's 2D still, right? I I don't know if FaceTime does it more immersively. Yeah, I'm with you there. And honestly, I think it's coming. I do the same thing in Meta, but I don't like um, Horizon Workrooms. I use Immersed instead because you can like pick your conference rooms and your setup and bring your laptop and bring all your applications. So And I was hoping for something like that, too. I haven't seen an application yet. Like, I don't feel like we're in the same virtual space. I feel like I'm in a virtual space on a Teams meeting. Yes. And you're in my Teams meeting with me. That's exactly it. It's just a, it's no different from um, a, just a Teams meeting. It's an impressive um, kind of VR replacement, but still a, um, something less than a real life Teams meeting, because that's all it is—is is a Teams meeting in virtual space, and um, it's not adding any new dimensions other than impressing us with how close it's getting to reality, but still not quite reality, which we can accomplish just by taking off the headsets. <laughs> oh, that is completely legitimate. I have the same feeling. Like, look, if I was in the headset and I had a Teams meeting coming up and I didn't want to take the headset off, I could join. Right. But I also feel like I could very easily like move to my laptop and have we'd just be in a normal Teams meeting. I've started noticing like when I put the device on, like my neck will cry a little. It's like, oh no, again. Oh, for me, over time, I'm getting stronger and stronger and less discomfort. So I can tell my body's getting used to it, whether it's physically or mentally. But it's I, I can, I'm going to be able to work in this all day pretty soon. Um, so, uh, you know, I thought I might return this after 14 days. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, because you have 14 days to return it. But I'm enjoying it so much that I have. I mean, I'm going to keep it. I love it. You know, the the I think the killer app here with um, AVP is the immersive video capture. There's, I mean, both photo and video capture. Um, and you could watch it in a little, um, you know, a little viewer, a little square viewer, and it'll pop out in 3D. Um, but if you set it to immersive mode, that's the killer app to be able to record in uh, immersive couldn't agree more. It's the first thing that I did and the, my favorite thing to play with so far. Like filming directly from the Apple Vision Pro, like immediately gives me these hugely immersive videos that I can like re-enter. It's, it's insane. I wish we could do a screen share. We can't. Yeah, I was wondering, uh, maybe in FaceTime. I bet you in FaceTime we can share apps um, like you can on regular uh, FaceTime. But because we're doing it in teams, it doesn't have that level of integration, I don't think. Mm. So we should try that. But um, I agree with you because this is, it's different than screen recording. We're not talking about screen recording, right? Mm-mm. We're talking about using the device, actually capture video through its cameras, as opposed to just recording what we see on the screen, right? It's, an exter- it's the external cameras that are using its spatial awareness to construct 
a 3D rendition of a photo or video. And it's the video where it's just like you're reliving the moment. Bingo. And I think this is I think this is super game changing. It is for me. Like I've been pricing 3D video recording kits that mm. I now no longer need to price. Oh, like, and I had that. so many stressors, like, I'm not a camera person, I'm not a photographer, like aesthetics, blocking, like I, it's yeah. not my thing. But if I can put on goggles and hit go and walk around mm. and like and I even found like settings for stabilizing the video, like as if you were using a GoPro, mm -hmm. like I'm, we're going to be able to make immersive content that we've just, yep. it would have taken too many devices and too much expertise and all the skills gaps. Like yeah, I'm really really excited about that. So I've had my Ray-Ban metas. So my glasses that I'm just like realizing it's probably the most impactful device that I've, um, that I've bought. Because, uh, yeah, because I I can um, not just as a content creator so that I'm capturing more um, with it than I am with my phone and I'm doing it more um, unobtrusively. Like I'm, I don't bother people or I don't um, cause people to react to recording when I'm just doing it through my glasses as opposed to taking a phone out of my pocket and like putting it in front of my face or in front of their face. And you know this because I've been doing it. Uh, you know, around you and you didn't even realize, right? So, you know, um, you know, aside from the privacy issues from a content creation perspective, I'm, I'm recording more. And number two, from a work perspective, because I am, it's always better to document more when I'm doing my forensics work. I'm doing that much more readily and without a second thought, because I don't have to pull out my phone when I need, when I'm working on something with two hands, literally as I'm taking a laptop apart, um, or hands on keyboard, I can just tell my glasses to record. So having that on my face and doing the recording and just having it look stylish or fashionably like a normal pair of glasses is been huge for me recently. I do, I am compelled to, you know, get even better. I mean, to get the immersive video recordings through the AVP, if I didn't look so dumb walking around outside with the, this pair of goggles on, you know what I mean? <laughs> I've heard the term vision bro thrown around and uh, okay. I don't want that kind of judgment. Like I'll go outside and play on the farm, like with the right. critters, they don't care. But right. in public, this is a little bit much for me. Ooh.